guys, it's Di and welcome to today's vlog. So today we're gonna be making a hot cocoa tray and I'm super excited about making this. This will be a fun little stop for the kids to have during the holiday season and it's also very festive and fun for the decor as well. So I have a number of different items here and I got a lot of them actually at Dollar General, so I wanted to kind of share a little bit of a haul of the items that I got from Dollar General. And then I picked up some fun food goodies at Home Goods because you can usually always find some fun items at Home Goods that are a little bit more unique than you can find at other places. So I have these two trays that I got at Dollar General. So you can see those on here and it says Merry Christmas. And I also wanted to share this wood tray that I've had for a number of years and is very multi-purpose. Actually, you leave it out year round. You could definitely decorate it on something like that as well. So I'm gonna share the different items that we're gonna put on our cocoa tray today and share how I package it up and give you some ideas for hopefully a fun cocoa bar at your own house. So here are some of the different items that I found for our tray and I found this cute little sign at Dollar General. This was only a dollar. I love this that it said believe in the magic of Christmas. I thought it was just something to add a little bit of height to the tray. I also found this cute faux mason jar. It has the tree on the top and this was only a dollar as well. So I'm planning on using this to hold some of the cocoa so it's functional too. And these are individual packets so I can just open up the packets and put them down in here. And then just note the measurement of how much one cup of one of these packets is. I found this Merry Christmas little container here in the center that could be used as a voltive holder or a number of different things. This was at Home Goods for about $3.99. And I already had these cute little bowls from Home Goods from the past season or two. I'm trying to use these different elements to hold different things. And then I tried to find things that were a lot of different textures. These little dark chocolate sticks were only about a dollar. At Dollar General, I found some candy canes to stick down inside of the glass. I found some peppermint crunches and these are just kind of a fun visual item to fill in the tray and just kind of make it kind of more fun and festive. So I'm going to start filling everything up and show you how I'm going to make my hot cocoa tray and show you how I'm going to store everything as well. So I knew I definitely wanted to have some candy canes and they did not have any of the traditional kind at our Dollar General, but I picked up some of these Airheads candy canes that are fun red and kind of white and gray silver so I thought that these would be fun for the cocoa tray and kind of actually be a different take on what you might expect out of a candy cane so I'm just going to alternate these and put four on one side and four on the other and I thought those would just be like a fun accent and you can move things around based on the height of things that you find for the tray and just kind of layer it up a little bit too. So next, I'm gonna use this jar to put some of my cocoa in. I'm just gonna use this to store the individual packets. And this will be a great way to store these. I can just note how much one packet is. And then also, I can keep some of the packets back in the pantry, so it can be a partially a decor item as well. So I'm just gonna take individual packets and dump them down inside our mason jar here. You can see they actually don't hold too much. So this is one packet down in our jar. So this jar should hopefully hold the whole entire box. held a full box worth of the cocoa packets and it makes a fun decor item and actually a great way to display the cocoa but have it sealed up as well too. Then I got this fun container at Home Goods to store my marshmallows in. You could also use it next to your uh, cocoa bar if you wanted people to be able to just grab the marshmallows out of the container with some tongs or something like that. So I'm just gonna pour all of these larger marshmallows that I got at Dollar General. And again, most things at Dollar General were about a dollar. So this is a pretty inexpensive fun activity to do with the kids as well. And you can do some fun things like make some marshmallow snowmen and all kinds of things with 
these marshmallows. This just makes a fun decor item or something fun to put next to your cocoa bar as well. I have these cute little bowls down here that I can use to put in some different items. I have some marshmallows that are smaller size that I can put in one that are, of course are essential to any cocoa drink. You're gonna want some marshmallows to put in there. They're a little bit stuck together. Then I also found these Christmas mix jelly bellies at Home Goods. These are just a fun red and green item and something also that you can have on the side with your cocoa. So it makes it kind of a fun accent. Then from there, I just wanted to add in a number of things that were different shapes and sizes. So I love these little cookie straws and they work really, really great to put on your tray for a little bit of visual interest. They also go really, really great with cocoa. So this was something that was only a dollar, a dollar general. I definitely love that on one of these little dessert trays. I also found these fun iced gingerbread cookies, which are kind of a Christmas time favorite. And also these gingerbread pizzelles. And if you haven't had pizzelles, they are really, really good. Um, but the pizzelles that I found at Home Goods are gingerbread flavored also. So I'm going to put those on there because they're just like a fun shape, a little bit of visual interest. And we can kind of fill the tray in. And then next thing, I'm going to put some of these gingerbread men here in the front. as a fun little accent and we love gingerbread. If you don't like gingerbread, you can use a different type of cookie. I'm gonna try not to use all broken ones. So I'm gonna use these gingerbread cookies from Dollar General and kind of line it in the front just for a fun little accent to have. Feels very Christmassy whenever you have gingerbread items. And then the last couple items I found for the tray were these fun holiday sprinkles that I like to get at Home Goods. I use these for a lot of different things during the holiday season, but they just add a fun kind of red and green sprinkle to the tray. So I'm just gonna kind of put those around. I also found these marshmallow kebabs, and these are fun to put in the top of your cocoa, and they kind of dissolve as they go, and they've got some fun sprinkles on the top. So you can kind of stick those over to the side, and they are a fun decoration, and actually a great kind of little component to put in your cocoa as well. So this is just a fun take on the tray. I love this idea for the holiday season, especially because we're spending so much time at home. I thought that this would be a really fun idea to share with you. So let me know what you love putting on your holiday trays. And we'll be sharing more trays as we go throughout the holiday season. But this is our first cocoa dessert board for the holiday season. And we'll be sharing more during Vlogmas. Thanks for watching and have a happy holiday season.